Welcome back to Try This DIY. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can get into your car if it is locked. Our keys are right there. And so I'm gonna show you guys one way that you can get into this vehicle without your keys. So let's dive in. All right, guys, so just a heads up, this is the second time this has happened to our vehicle in the last month where the keys have gotten locked inside the car. And so I wanted to try to see if I could figure this out myself instead of paying a locksmith to come and fix it. I do recommend you grab one of these locksmith sets down below. I'll have a link for it in the description that you can grab on Amazon. But I didn't have that option and I didn't want to have to pay anyone. So I ran over to Home Depot, grabbed some of these shim bladders right here that you see me pumping up and I'm gonna try it myself. I also grabbed a piece of wire that I'll show you what that will look like at the end as well. But all I did was grab a wire hanger and went ahead and made it straight and put a hook on the end. I do wanna give a little disclaimer right here that putting this bladder in your door is not great for it. So there is a chance that it could mess your door up, but this again was something I wanted to try to see if I could figure it out myself because once someone did this for us, uh, a few weeks ago, it looked very easy, and I wanted to see if this was something that I could do myself. Another thing right here, you want to make sure you're careful of the seal right there in your door. You don't want to scratch anything up on that seal and mess that up either. And then also, you want to try your best not to scratch anything up with this wire hanger on the back side of the door or on the inside as well. And so I'll show you guys just a little bit on the inside of what I'm trying to do right here. So within a couple minutes, I was able to hook the handle right here with the end of this wire hanger. As you can see, I have it on there pretty tight. And so I'm going to show you as you pull what's going to happen right here. I got everything tight and it just kind of slipped off, but I was able to grab it pretty quickly again, which is nice. You can see the tension there. And then again, it just keeps kind of slipping off right here. So I do think the wire hanger might be need to be a little bit stronger in order to do this. Uh, again, I recommend the locksmith kit because it does come with a little bit harder and more robust piece of wire. And then just to let you guys know, I took another five minutes or so of trying to bend the hook a little bit tighter. I was able to able to hook it again, but again, still not strong enough in order to open up that door handle there. Also, just so you guys know, this is a push to start car and it is not supposed to be able to lock your keys in your car. But this, again, is the second time this has happened in a month. So let me know if you guys have ever had this happen to your vehicle. So while I was at Home Depot, I did end up grabbing this little bit more heavy-duty piece of wire right here. You can see it's called a round bar. Uh, I grabbed one of these and put a hook on it as well, trying my best to manipulate it in there to grab on to the handle. I did this for another 5 to 10 minutes, uh, but I was unable to grab the handle itself. It didn't really have... The rigidity and really wasn't flexible enough as well to, in order to get to the handle. It just kind of stayed um, straight. And as you can tell right here, I keep trying to get there, but it was never um, allowing me able to manipulate it well enough to hook it onto the door handle. I also did have a lot of my neighbors starting to watch me see what I was doing here. Some of the kids even started to come up and watch me trying to finagle this door open as well. All right, after another 10 or so minutes of not being able to get it, I did decide to add the extra little shim pack right here. And again, this is just another bladder. And what this does, it just opens the door up a little bit more so that you have a little bit more uh, room to kind of manipulate your uh, coat hanger or even your wire, whatever you're going to be using. This was super helpful for me because, again, it gave me a little bit more room inside that door frame so I would be able to get in there a little bit better. Another thing I did right here, you can see it in the window, is I actually made the end of the wire hanger a little bit stronger. I got me another piece of wire and then put a piece of tape around it so that way it made the wire stronger because every time I would try to pull it through and get it onto the door handle, it kept just slipping off. So this way I wanted to make the end of it a little bit stronger. You can see it right here in the picture. So this did make it a little bit stronger and it is something I do recommend. I think that is something that will work. But I did try both of these for about another 10 to 15 minutes to no avail. I wasn't able to get back onto the handle with the heavier duty one. And then also my other one, I couldn't grab it as well. So I decided to try the other side of the door as well. You can tell I went ahead and put both of the little bladders in there and pumped them up so we could get uh, into this side. And again, same thing. I'm trying my best to get in there, grab the door handle 
and pull it. One thing I do recommend right here is realize your situation and your circumstances. When the guy, the locksmith, did this earlier on mine, um, he was trying to grab the handle and ended up just actually hitting the button and it opened up the door. And so that was super nice. And so while I was on this side, I started looking around to see if I could hit the button and it wasn't working. I tried to again grab the door handle and it was kind of getting there, but I was just trying to struggle around trying to figure out how to get right on it, make sure that it worked. And I was trying to just figure out how it would be the easiest and the best way to do it. So what I started doing is just looking around to see what other options I had. And again, now this isn't always going to work, but I did actually see that my keys were sitting in the passenger seat right here. And so what I did decide to do is just try and actually to hit the button itself instead of trying to do everything on the door. And as you can see right here, I actually did hit the button and it did end up opening up the car itself. So here again, I wanted to show you what I was doing. You can see I was able to get the stronger piece of metal in there, able to get it in and it hit the button and it opened it right up, which is super nice and convenient. So again, make sure you look around and see what you might have available in your vehicle. It doesn't always have to be the door handle. It could be, you know, your lock or it could be something else. But just because I'm stubborn and I wanted to prove to myself that I could do this, I went ahead and shut the door and locked it. I did get my keys out, but I wanted to show that this does work. As you can see, I finagled everything back around in there and was able to get hooked back onto the door handle and used the wire hanger with just a little bit stronger hook on the end to show you guys that you can pull it. So it took me a few tries here. You see again, trying to pull this open. Now it again, finally worked. And again, just wanted to show you guys that it does work. You can use the wire hanger. You want to make sure that the end is reinforced and it needs to hook onto the end of the door handle for my situation. And then again, I was just showing you which one I used was the one with the reinforced hook. But like always, just remember it wouldn't be true DIY if it didn't have a little bit of fun to it. Well, guys, overall, I do think these will work in a pinch. Again, these are just the little air shims you can grab at Home Depot. I'll have a link for those in the description and then also just a regular coat hanger and this little rod. I think it does need to be a little bit stronger than a regular coat hanger. That's why I wrap this with a little piece of metal or if you want a little bit heavier duty one, you can use this as well and I think that will work or you can even just grab the locksmith kit we have down below in the link. You can grab those on Amazon and I think that'll help you uh, in the future if you ever get your keys locked in the car. But hopefully this video was helpful, and if it was, you can let me know that. You can leave a like and subscribe. You can also check out another helpful video right here, and I'll see you over there.